We are inside Jam Nola. It's where you get your jam on, or at least we find out what's your jam. This is Johnny Liss, one of the founders of Jam Nola, and you're going to take us through a tour of this today. And, and I want to get your whole idea of how this got started. Well, sir, thanks, Eric, and thanks for coming. And what's your jam means uh, joy, art, music. What brings you joy? Is it music, art? Is it food in our amazing city? And um, you've got it all here. We've got it all here. All right. I, you know what? Let's go through the doors <laughs> sure. and start our tour. All right. <laughs> So Johnny, we're in the middle of carnival season and this room kind of says it all. Oh, this room says it all. It's called You Hold the Key by uh, Noah Church and it basically takes as many crews from Mardi Gras as we could fit in one room and puts them all on the walls. And I was just saying out there, uh, you, you know, you're not from New Orleans. No. But this is your love letter to New Orleans. I mean, because this was a big investment to do. Oh, yes. Um, it's my love letter to New Orleans from 30 years ago when I first came uh, down here. And um, we wanted it to be a big shout out to uh, life in the Big Easy and just uh, celebrate everything this city has. Because it was a pretty big roll of dice to make a project this big. I mean, this is what it's more than 5,000 square feet yes. uh, of exhibit. And you do you do music, art culture, food, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, Eric, it was, it was quite an undertaking and a crazy vision that um, my co-founder, uh, Chad, and I had. We um, really wanted to bring um, large doses of joy to people through music and art. And, and really, it's a feast for the eyes, and that's what I think uh, is so cool about Jam Nola. Let's keep on going. Of There's course. so much more to see. Sure. <laughs> All right, Johnny, I'm walking in here. It looks like a psychedelic dream. It is a little bit of a psychedelic <laughs> dream. Uh, it's called And the Beat Goes On. Um, it's by uh, Chad Smith and Robin Duran. It's got over 20,000 recycled Mardi Gras beads from Arc, oh. Greater New Orleans. Okay, now, and you walk <laughs> into here and it gets, it's even more psychedelic. It, it gets even more psychedelic, Eric, but um, the, the idea is that this um, represents night parades. And you know, I, I couldn't- uh, Okay. Yeah, and I couldn't have done all this without our creative partners um, at Where Your Art Works, Cat, uh, uh, Cat Todd and Colin Ferguson. They represent artists in New Orleans that are deeply rooted in the culture of this and city. And you have so many artists working yeah. on this, so many, many musicians who are yes. part of this. I mean, it really is, I mean, you jam Nola into <laughs> one building. <laughs> All right, Johnny, this is kind of spectacular. What, what do you call this? This room is called Spirit Trees. It's a modern interpretation of the spirit bottle trees that came okay. over from West Africa. We want I see hope, dreams, strength, joy, wishes, beauty, happiness. Yeah, they're all words of good intention. And then this phases into, we start getting into some of the food in New Orleans. Yeah. And of course, uh, crawfish is king here. And I love this room. And I love the addition of the piano here. You got my buddy uh, Fats Crawfish Domino on here. Yes, absolutely. We just added Fats in here. Ooh, it's hot in here. And then we come into this room, and this is like a bunch of artists have been in costumes and masks and, and headdress, all kinds of things. There are over 30 makers either made pieces for us or they were actually taken from a real carnival parade. And there's some interactive stuff in there. You can sit on the king cake chairs. You look like you could be a king. Yeah. <laughs> and besides all the costumes and stuff, you've got a bunch of great pictures on the wall. So we took over 150 headdresses um, with the help of uh, Where Your Art Works, and we invited uh, friends, family, musicians, personalities there here you go. <laughs> to come in, and they, um, we made it into flavor paper. It and, was, uh, it was a it fun is. night, because we all incredible. put on different headdresses yeah. and then got our pictures taken. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. So can you guess what section this is? This is the food section. I'm in the bunny bread, and Johnny, you got the best job. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm Savory Simon over here, you guys, and making groceries. And Johnny, I gotta tell you, this is one of my favorite rooms because I love music, and I love music in New Orleans. Well, well, here you can make some music. That's why it's called the Sound Garden. You've got all the uh, instruments over here. Yeah. Uh, these are 500 record albums melted into flowers. Uh, with pop art in them by the Oak Street Art Collective. They're just awesome. <laughs> Incredible. And then you got all these giant heads when we walk through here. Professor Longhair, Big Frida, Fats Domino, Dr. John, Irma Thomas, and even Lil Wayne. And Johnny, we're, we're closing this with one of your favorite rooms, which is one of the early parts of the tour. But why is this so important to you? We worked with um, 
Dama Fountain, who is the widow of Royce Osborne. Royce created this beloved documentary in 2003 called All on a Mardi Gras Day, all about Black Carnival, about baby dolls and second lines and skeletons. What we did is we took the new music of the 79ers gang, two big chiefs, um, Romeo and Jermaine, the, the new music on top of the old school documentary, and it's the most special, special moment. And, and that's what I love about this place, because the teachers, tourists and New Orleanians alike, a lot about mm -hmm. our culture, and you guys have done a magnificent job. Thank you so much. Thanks for showing us today. Thank you, Eric.